Do maps lie? We all know the phrase lies, damn lies and statistics, and we know that data can be used and abused. But what about maps? Can they be weapons of deception or tools of tyranny? Of course they can. Maps can mislead due to honest mistakes by the author, or they can mislead us on purpose. Let's take as an example the issue of mapping house prices in London. Many would argue prices are far too high, but do the maps agree? As an example, let's look at two different maps of London house prices. Both maps use the same data, but with very different results. Jim wants to show that things aren't actually that bad, and that prices aren't that high. In this case, he could use an equal interval classification, like in this map, where prices don't look too high in most of the city. Most areas show an average house price in the lowest statistical category. This helps make the argument that prices aren't actually that high. But Anna wants to show how out of control prices are in London compared to the rest of the country. So she's made a map which shows areas in London which have an average house price below the UK average and areas which are above the national average. As we can see, this makes London look very expensive and this more closely fits the national narrative on the topic. But neither of these examples are 100% correct, though the second one is perhaps much more powerful, even though it uses the same data as the first. If we wanted to produce something more meaningful, which represented the underlying data in a more conventional way, a map like this would be more useful. So, do maps lie? Well, kind of. They can be designed to deliberately mislead us or influence us one way or another about a particular issue. And this is the point. Maps aren't neutral. Map makers can lie. It always helps to look at a map with a critical eye. Next time you look at a map, ask yourself the following questions before deciding what it shows. Who made it? Why did they make it? What does it actually tell us?